Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, we are going to go over a man overboard uh, turn. Okay, I'm just going to write it down for you guys so you guys can actually visually see it. Uh, I'm not actually going to steer it. And I'm making this video because I actually did a man overboard drill last week and I steered a Williamson turn. Well, little sneak sneak inside information on this trip that I've been doing, which is actually probably not the trip that you like from these other videos. From these other videos, but uh this trip particularly I've been doing a log entry and making videos every single day. So you're gonna get like four or five months of videos and uh, like nonstop every single day. But to the point, we did the Williamson turn. I executed it perfectly. Uh, and even though I didn't record it up on the bridge because that to me might be a little unprofessional, uh, I did make a video on the Williamson turn. So that is the more traditional and known man overboard turn that is done in drills usually. Uh, and in that video, when you guys get to it, in the log entry playlist that'll be coming out, you guys will get to it. But for today, the man overboard scenario turn today is gonna be the Schnero turn. Okay, so this is going to be the narrow turn, narrow turn, four, oh Jesus, this is just not working out. Okay, so for the man overboard, we're gonna we're gonna make this really simple and easy. We're going to say you are you're in a boat or a ship, and to make it super easy, we're gonna say you are going zero 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 degrees. <clears throat> um, now. For this you're going to turn you're gonna turn the wheel to the right or left hard over which is typically gonna be a thirty five degree rudder angle. Now the rudder angle can vary from ship to ship standard standard I believe it is 35 degrees but I've also heard of some other ships being at like 40 degrees for hard over um, and then also like on this ship here we have 35 degrees but they have a limit on it so our hard over here is actually only 30 degrees and when you guys get to it you'll know when I did my Williamson turn for the the man overboard um, I actually only did 10 so the difference between doing you know say 10 degrees circle and a 10 degree rudder circle and a 35 degree is it's gonna be this is gonna be your 35 degree man overboard circle this is gonna be your 10 degree rudder angle circle that you do but anyways for the snow turn you're gonna to wanna to do 35 degrees hard over, and then you're gonna come all the way around till roughly, ooh, ooh, ooh. ain't that a nice boat? Till roughly 240 degrees. Um, 
and this is why I did say we're going zero 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 because you're gonna come over two two four zero degrees now it matters on it doesn't like whatever you're going whatever if you're going zero nine zero or whatever you're gonna want to come over to two four zero two hundred and forty degrees over from your original course now once you are 240 degrees from your original course in this case it'll be 240 to make it simple you're gonna go hard over you're gonna shift your rudder and go hard over the opposite direction so we went hard over 35 degree rudder to the right once you get to 240 degrees from your original course 240 degrees from your original course you're gonna shift your rudder to left 35 degrees hard over so that is going to basically shift you back over um, and around this point this is obviously the reciprocal of zero 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 is one eight zero now, when you are 20 degrees from your reciprocal course, which would be what, one, no, 200? 20 degrees from 180 would be 200. Zero, zero. Uh, you're gonna go mid shit, I believe. Uh, yeah, yeah. Same thing as a Williamson turn. So when you're 20 degrees from your original, or from your reciprocal course <clears throat> you're gonna go a midship which is zero rudder left or right and hypothetically that will then balance the swing out to around your reciprocal course now when I did my Williamson turn I really did practice that okay I'm 20 degrees from the original course I went amid ship and the slowdown the rate of turn of the ship really did come to a stop close to the reciprocal course like almost to a dead stop to where I think I used about five degrees of the opposite rudder just to make sure I stopped but uh yeah that is the snare turn it's basically the opposite of the Williamson turn, which is you're gonna like it, you're you'll be going this way and you'll do hard right over, and then hard left over to come back the other way. You guys will see that video, but it's the exact opposite of this. Um, the point of the snare turn is it'll take it'll take your vessel back into its own wake because as you turn and come back this wake from your original course you're going to take you're, you're going to be taken back into your original wake um there's less distance covered saving time apparently which it's the exact opposite of a williamson turn so I believe it's probably the same amount of time as a Williamson turn. But, uh, yeah, that's it. That's the snare turn. Man overboard. Uh, I believe it's used usually when you know when the person has gone over. So, say, you have a time limit of whatever, say, you know, they just went over 10, 15 minutes ago, then, you know, the person fell over somewhere, somewhere back here, you know, your man overboard went somewhere back here, you guys kept going, and it's like, oh, well, now we know a man's overboard, let's turn around, come back, get on the reciprocal course, and you'll be coming at a straight heading towards your guy your man overboard um where the williamson turn which is the exact opposite of this basically if you have a guy go over immediately your your vessel your point is to kick the rudder out away from your guy 
just in case, and then loop it back around to the reciprocal course. Um, it's also good for if you have no idea when he fell over. So the snare turn, if you know he went over and some time has elapsed, but the Williamson turn, I believe, if you have no idea when the person went over, then you would want to do a Williamson turn to get back on your exact course and just come back. But that's what I got, guys. Uh, I hope that I hope that was easy for you guys to catch. Like I said, you're gonna go hard over right or left when you get 240 degrees from your original course. You're gonna shift your rudder to hard over the opposite direction. And then once you get 20 degrees from your reciprocal course, you're gonna go amidship, and that should theoretically slow you down to your reciprocal course. But these are guidelines um, on how these maneuvers are done. These are like the official guidelines. I didn't just make these up. Uh, these are guidelines of how they're done. So just because you go amidship in that last 20 does not mean you're gonna land right on the dot of your reciprocal course you might need a few degrees of rudder you know a little bit of rudder to steady her just know that um thanks for watching i appreciate it guys please uh please subscribe hit that like button it'll really really help i'm serious please hit that like button also i'm gonna leave the link down below for my website northwest sailor uh i'm gonna i'm probably gonna be writing up some log entries or some you know blog blog s type things definitely going to be writing the snare turn in there you might actually see this picture up in there or i'll find a better one that doesn't look like a bunch of wieners on a paper that i drew in a circle yeah hit that subscribe button more content to come all right i'll see you guys in the next one i'm out